Hey y'all. So, I'm doing a video again today, of course, because I'm over here. And my video today, I'm sort of excited about it. <laughs> well, I'm excited about all my videos, but you know. <laughs> um, today, I'm going to do my everyday glam um, in my version of my own everyday glam. Um, also, I'm going to be trying to show y'all how to, or not how to, how I shape my eyebrows. And then also I'm going to be doing a quick, I'm going to just do one brow because just for the sake of time, like I always say, um, I'm going to do one brow. I'm going to do one brow first off camera, then I'm going to come back on camera so y'all can see the difference. Right now I'm going to zoom in and I want to see if y'all can see how, how out of shape right now. Like I got some hairs growing in on on here and then also it's real kind of messy my eyebrows so I'm um, definitely if my camera will focus um, I'm gonna be shaping out my eyebrows so y'all stay tuned that's what I'm gonna do <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and just shape it like I usually would um, if like say the camera wasn't on me so I put one hand here I stretch out my brow because you see now that I stretched it out I'm giving it that it won't be like that when I get done but it will help guide me to know where I need to uh, pluck it and then I let go and then that's when I go and pluck on this side so don't do this and pluck 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 because when you let go your brow will be jacked up like how mine was when I first used to do that so don't be having walking around with some jacked up eyebrows y'all um, you will be mad at me and yourself <laughs> so do exactly what I say Raise up, pluck, 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 or shave if you shave, um, and then let go, and then boom, 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 boom. And then also, if you need to let go so that you can boom, 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 fix it up, um, go ahead and do that first. You don't have to stretch. This is just how I need to do because I notice when I pluck, when you stretch, you can't pull your skin. So, and I used to pull my skin with the um, tweezers and be walking around bleeding. So what I'm gonna do is start doing this now. Shut up. Okay y'all, so my eyebrows are done. Now um, I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation on. The foundation I'm using today is L'Oreal. Um, it's the Infallible Pro Matte 24 Hour Foundation. Okay. Um, I think I mentioned this in my first, <coughs> my first video I ever posted on YouTube. And I said that the color was kind of dark for me and that I was feeling some type of way about it. Well, I've been trying to wear more and more and more. Yes, it's still a little, like a shade too dark for me. But in a way, I kind of like that because I get to do less contouring. So, um, and I'll show y'all that. Like, I'm going to apply this and I'll let y'all see, like, the difference um, in what it looks like. This foundation looks like it can be my color. And I think that it's wrong because in the store... It looks like this color that's on the makeup is like the makeup that's inside the container, but it's not. This is the packaging that looks like this. The makeup does not look like that. Like, I'm going to see if I can show y'all. Yes. You see that? Now tell me, is that the same color? It is not the same color. But 
I'm gonna show y'all how I fix that because um, I can do less contouring. Okay. okay, so I'm not just sitting here looking like I've been sweating off camera. I really have on I color corrected and then I put Fix Plus all over my face. Um, I just put some of my Infallible Pro Matte by L'Oreal on the back of my hand like I always do and I'm gonna take my beauty blender but first I'm gonna dab that I'm not even gonna do it I'm not gonna do it let me stop I'm gonna just dab this all over my face I'm gonna have to set the top of my eyelids because I use um, that far to do my eyebrows with and I wish I didn't but it's all good because I'm gonna have to and you can do this like if you notice like the way my eyelids go like they crease up right here when I open my eyes like right in this area it crease up so I have to like try to set I have to try to set my eyelids like real quick in like this whole area up here because if I don't um, it'll just crease all up and it's just not good it pisses me off like so much <laughs> Like, you have no idea how much that pissed me off, like, to the full list. And I noticed it doing it just a minute ago when I was putting my foundation on. Oh, I just got so angry. And it's okay if it go all over the place, because, you know, we're finna bake anyway. Well, it ain't really okay that it go all over the place, because you don't want it to mix in with your foundation and stuff like that. Um, or with your, when you get ready to um, conceal and all that. So I believe I'm going to go in with medium beige and this is always my uh, second choice whenever I'm using um, whenever I'm using my um, whenever I run out of the naked concealer. So I'm taking this and I'm doing my usual. I'm just bringing it underneath my eyes and I'm not really going all the way down because remember this is my daytime look. So I really don't do a lot of um, concealing underneath my eyes with my daytime look I just kind of go a little bit of ways And y'all don't mind my hair right now. <laughs> um, this hair I have on in my last video when I did the review of the beauty supply store. Um, this is that long lace wig that I had on. Um, if you haven't seen the video, go watch it and you'll see um, the kind of hair this is. It was really long. Yeah, I remember when I stood up and I showed y'all how long it was. Well, I have cut this hair into like a cute bob. And the reason being is because this hair did get frizzy, okay? Um, especially on the ends. And it actually got frizzy the first time that I had it. And I was a little disappointed because I'm like, you know what? Like, I know the synthetic fibers, but god dang, give me at least a week. You know what I'm saying? So, um, it didn't. It gave me one day. Okay? So, and what I probably did wrong, I can't blame myself on this. I don't know if maybe this is just me, my doing. But what I did wrong was I used a razor. You know that razor thing that you use to do your, cut your hair with? I used that to, um, to kind of put layers in it. Like I told y'all I was going to do in the video, I said I was going to cut it and style it and all that. Well, that's what I did. I put layers in it. And when I tell y'all, do not, if you get this hair, do not get a razor. Do not razor cut any synthetic fibers. I learned my lesson. I won't do it again. I will just use scissors next time. Um, because I used scissors to cut this wig and into this bob. And I have not really had any frizziness until whenever it gets tangled. And I'm brushing with my demi brush really, really hard. And you know, um... You, I don't know if I'm the only one to do this, but like you can like take the brush and just like hack at the hair, the tip of the brush, and get it to come, get it, get the knots out. And I did that a lot, and I wish I wouldn't have, but I did. And that's what caused, that's what caused me to get um, frizziness once I, on this wig when I cut it short. But I taught myself then, you know. 
let me start using scissors if it gets frizzy I'm gonna just use scissors to I'm gonna just use scissors to um to cut it with so that's what I did and once I fix it up and blend my edges and all that y'all see how cute this wig is like I really am gonna hate whenever it I have to give it away not give it away but you know <laughs> Lay it on down the rest on the rest on in peace. <laughs> I know I'm gonna have to do that soon, but you know, I'm gonna go in with my eyes now, and I am gonna do something very simple because, like I said, this is my daytime glam look, and all I'm gonna be do using today is my Kathleen Lights palette. Now, in this palette. As you see, there's multiple colors. The only colors that I use pretty much for my daytime glam is boom, 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 boom. That's it. That's all the colors I use. And so now I'm finna show y'all how I do that. And this is not gonna be long because my daytime glam, I hardly put any, 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 any makeup on. So what I like to do first is just go in with this color right here all around here 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 okay and I'm gonna do one eye on camera and one eye off so here here we go and y'all see me use these colors before like also when I'm going to work and I want just a simple look I'll do this same routine to my eyes and it's nothing special nothing like you know um nothing like that's gonna be all like oh she did that but no, this is just my eye, my eye, um, simple eye glam look, as well as my simple makeup glam look. So. Um, now I'm gonna go in with this color right here, as in my crease only. And I usually just start flickering it up right here in this area. And then that's about it. Okay, just like that. And you can't even tell that I even put something right here. That's because that's how I want it. Because the main thing that I really want for my glam is to be what I'm going to put on my lid. Okay. And this brush I'm using is the Morphe G24. And this is my usual like um, crease brush that I use. Okay. Um, then next I'm going to go in with my Morphe G13. And it's kind of like a little, um, a little flat, little flat brush. Okay, so I'm gonna apologize right now. I was doing my wing liner on this side and putting on my mascara and didn't realize my camera um, didn't record it. So on my next video that I said I'm gonna put up where I'm doing my normal eyebrow routine, um, I'm gonna do all of that on that video too. Okay y'all, so my everyday glam makeup look is done. I'm gonna zoom out some more. Um, the face is done, however, <laughs> the hair is not. So, like I told y'all, this is the hair that I wore um, when I did a review for my beauty supply store hair um, video. I just cut it into like a really short bob. Um, kinda like a messy cut is what I did. And I actually cut it a little bit more today too. So um, I cut some more of the frizziness off of it because like I said earlier, I was like brushing it with the brush. So, um, and then I went through and put some more layers in the front. And I really like this hair, 
even though it kind of pissed me off whenever I had to cut it this short. But I ended up liking it because I like short hair anyway. So this is the finished look, y'all. Um, my every my everyday glam. Sometimes I'll add false lashes, sometimes I won't. But in this case, I'm not going to do nothing that requires lashes. Um, like I told y'all, I'm just I told y'all why I'm finna go. Me and my sister finna go make some makeup, some makeup stops. And all I'm gonna do is just do like that and use my demi brush and when i told y'all earlier in my video how i take my demi brush and i this is how i do and if you do that like it's not no tangles right now but like when i was doing that to get the tangles out it actually made the hair frizzy so don't do that um just kind of go through and just kind of brush it out not that that will help but it might help to keep the wig preserved longer but this is my look. I'm going to try to sit back some more. Um, all I'm going to do is add add a lip gloss. And um, hold on, let me get that. I'm going to add a lip gloss and um, just put that on real quick like that. So that's it this is my look y'all um i hope y'all like it it wasn't a spectacular or dramatic or whatever it's just a simple um look that i usually do and this is my go-to look um my morning look my everyday glam look um so this is what it is i know everybody has their own preference i'm gonna close my eyes so y'all can see um my eyelids open one to make sure the camera is not going blurry but this is it this is what i do and i just pop on a gloss or i'll pop on like a, a really right white light nude um lip and that's it and y'all shout out shout out to my bff um hey holly <laughs> Um, she the one that told me about these press-on nails. Y'all know my nails is looking a little ratchet in all these videos. But girl, these press-on nails is the bomb. Like, for real. Bomb.com. I got them from Sally's on sale for $4. Um, and they will stick on. Like, these are press-on nails. You know, like we used to wear um, when we were little. Well, not little. You know. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> um, but these things are the bomb. And I don't know if y'all can tell, like... Uh, hold on, let me zoom in. Focus and get it. Look how cute. Those are like so cute. And they like the press songs. But anyway, thank you girl for teaching me. She the one that taught me about all the nails and the polishes and all that. But um, it's all good. She hooked a sister up. <laughs> Um, but yes, thank you Holly for showing me about these nails and I bought so many, um, you taught me well. Um, but yeah, so until next time, I'm going to keep putting my nails on the camera because, you know, I got lotion on my hands now and my nails are cute. But um, until next time, I hope y'all like this video. Um, let me know what y'all think, um, what y'all want to see. Um, I got to go hurry and get dressed so I can get done when I need to get done.